morning everyone or good evening good night good afternoon whichever time of the day you are watching this video in hello to you all i hope you guys are all very well so for today's video i'm really excited to do like a get ready with me style video talking about skincare the current products that i use and how i style my new hair if you guys didn't know i had extensions done in july i have recently dyed them this like auburn red brown kind of color since this is a semi dye so as the weeks go on this will fade more and more as i wash it but yeah this is my current hair situation i'm obsessed so as i'm really feeling this autumnal phase in my life as you guys know i come to life in this time of year i just love it so much i thrive i just live in my best life the fashion the colors the midnight skies everything about autumn i'm obsessed with so i just thought i'd do a little update on all things like hair and beauty products because i feel like i haven't really updated you guys on the current products i use in such a long time so that is the plan today so if this sounds like the type of video that you're into don't forget to smash a thumbs up subscribe to my channel if you want to see more videos from me in the future and without further ado let's get into the get ready with me thing so the first step I'm going to be taking in preparation for my get ready with me is my hair. So the first thing I do when I'm about to get ready is I divide my hair into two sections all the way down the back. And I basically just plait my hair so that when I finish my makeup I can just unplait my hair and it just leave really nice wavy curls. Kind of similar to this now because I slept in plaits last night. But I'm just going to show you again for the same purpose as you know I actually do this in my routine. So that's what I'm going to do. So I will leave out the front bits of my hair. And I'm just going to do a really messy job with this. We're not going to go too, you know, serious and worry about the section and stuff. I'm just going to plait all the way down to the ends of my hair. What you can do as well is leave a little hair oil as you do this if your hair is a little bit dry um, and it just gives it a little moisturising treatment before you head off out. And then moving on to the other side, again, I'm just going to leave the front bits out and then just plait down the other side. You can kind of play around with the width of the plaits, make like more looser waves or you can make tighter waves. Obviously it depends on how you want the after look to look like basically. I'm just going to widen mine out a bit because I just like effortless waves in my hair. So now that I have plaited my hair, I'm going to go in with my next step, which is to apply these hair clips to the front sections of my hair, just to keep it out of the way of my face. So these were actually $7.99 for a set of eight. Um, they're little like hair clips. You see a lot of celebrity stylists and things like that wearing these. They're quite trendy at the moment. Basically just apply them to the fronts of your hair and they don't leave any kinks or anything like that, which is just perfect. So that is basically me prepped, ready, for my makeup so we're gonna head off to the skincare side of it excuse this rash on my neck every time I touch my neck or style my hair it just appears I don't know what it is it's just horrendous but it's not a love bite or anything trust me on that it's just a rash and you'll probably see a few come up as this video goes on so we try and ignore it if you guys have been on my channel for a while you will know the pain that I've gone through with this rash situation on my neck so yeah we'll leave it as that anyways moving on to skincare so a lot of you guys followed me through my acne journey which I posted uh, I think two years ago or a year ago so you guys want to update on my skin this is my current skin situation I haven't used Duac for a while only because I haven't been able to get it through prescription because obviously corona has been around and everything's just been delayed so this is my current situation it's not too bad all of my spots and blemishes are just flat onto my skin they're not like raised or causing any concerns they're literally just flat on my face at the moment but you know as the months go on things change and you do get the odd spot come along but yeah this is my current skin situation so i'm not too worried about it at the moment it doesn't have a big flare-up obviously i've got a few spots here and i've got this like lump under my skin on this side as well but they're very coverable which is perfect so yeah my current situation with the skincare is basically just wiping off my makeup with a cloth and water and the Garnier cleansing stuff I put a picture of what it looks like here so you guys can see I swear by this it has basically saved my skin since not using Duac it's been just as good one thing that I found has really helped a lot is avoiding using face wipes on my skin I used face wipes for like a week and the week after my skin was just flared up with spots and acne all over my face and I feel like on my personal perspective and my journey with my skin 
face wipes are just a no-go like I don't know why I reach for them but they're just such a quick and easy thing they're just there you know your makeup is going to be removed by them but I don't know what it is it just leaves a reaction to my skin my skin just doesn't take to them so if you are struggling with your skin and you use face wipes at the moment try to avoid using them for a month see how they go remove your makeup with a cloth um, and a proper like cleansing soap kind of thing and you will probably see results because I know since I've cut face wipes out my skin has just improved on a very different level so yeah there's a little tip for you guys if you want to try it if you're just looking for other ways to improve your skin so to prime my skin today I'm going to be using the Boots Vitamin C Serum this one I think was £6 I will leave a link to all of the products that I use in today's video in the description box down below for you guys to get access to but yeah this one was £6 in their Boots range I basically use like two pumps of this and I just blend it all over my face it just leaves a really nice texture on your skin and obviously it just moisturizes and just makes it feel really good so that's the reason why I use it and then I'm gonna let that sink into my skin for around a minute before I head off into my next step I'm now gonna be taking the candy cosmetics pre glow up mist this is absolutely stunning it makes my skin look really really glowy and dewy perfect to apply the rest of my makeup with so i'm going to spray this onto my skin this one i picked up in a glossy box i didn't actually buy this i don't know how much it actually cost but if i find it i will leave it in the description box below for you guys to access like that <laughs> and then we're just going to allow that to set into our skin even though I'm showing you this routine, there are many different routines that I go for on a daily basis. I do like to switch up sometimes and use different products, but at the moment this is my current favourite routine. So now that I've set my skin into place, I'm going to be taking a concealer and just prepping my eyes. I had my concealer resting on my camera tripod and it's just not going back into place. So moving on to concealer after that, I'm now taking the Rimmel London Lasting Radiance Concealer and I'm just going to use this to prep my eyes ready for the eyeshadow. This is a new technique that I've been doing, I haven't done this before but since this year watching a lot of videos on TikTok and stuff this has been something I find really useful. So I'm just going to take this above my eye, we're not going to use too much product but just enough to kind of conceal the area around my eyes. And then I'm taking a beauty blender just to set that into my skin. And then take some more concealer just to cover up any spots or ick on my skin. And then again, blending that in with my beauty blender. And then for my eyeshadow, I'm going to be taking the Jaclyn Hill palette, which has been one of my favourites over the past couple of months. Only because we've got a lot of neutral colours in here. Um, we've got a few playful colours as well, but more importantly, I just love those warmer tones across the top. So I'm going to be taking a fluffy brush, like this one. This one is the Luxe Tampered Blending Brush. Again, I got this from a Birch Box, so I'm not sure how much this one cost. And this one was a birthday present for me last year, I think. So, or Christmas time. I think it was a Christmas present. So the first colour I'm going to be using is this beige shade here. I'm just going to apply this all along my crease. And then taking this taupe kind of shade here, I'm going to be using the Real Techniques Base Eyeshadow Brush, which looks like this. I'm just going to lightly pat this on. And then taking the concealer, which I used before, the Rimmel London one. I'm just going to apply a small dot onto the centre of my lid and I'm just going to define a cut crease a little bit more better like that and then I'm going to take a smaller angled brush maybe a little bit like this and then taking this kind of like a darker undertoned tube shade here it's kind of like more of a I don't know, it's kind of got like a purpley kind of undertone to it. I really like it. I'm just going to take a small amount onto my brush and just build up on that crease line there. And that is basically the best I can do for eyeshadow. And then because my current makeup brush collection is just absolutely terrible, I'm going to be using this brush here, which I've had for too long. I'm not going to say how long, but too long. And I'm going to use a mixture, well, a blend between this golden shade here and then these lighter ones at the top, um, just on the center of my lid to create a nice autumnal glow. It's 
excuse the fallout all over my face but I'm now going to be using a darker kind of brown shade at the bottom here just to line out that centre a little bit more better really. One thing about me, I have no idea about makeup terms or anything like that, I just go with the flow, do what I feel works at the time and then go from there so yeah I'm really rubbish at explaining my makeup but it just seems to go together in the end and that's all that really matters so yeah, I'm just gonna use that dark color just on the edge of my eye and then blend it out and then taking the same brush that we used at the beginning just to blend that out a little bit just so it transitions into the other shades nicely so now to clear up the mess that I've made on my face, <laughs> I'm going to be taking this cotton pad, my micellar water, just a small amount. I don't want to drown my face out because obviously I've got to apply the rest of my makeup on. I'm just going to wipe under the excess fallout from underneath my eye and just redefine that shape on the edges there. And that is my eyeshadow complete. So now we're going to have to line my lids and I have been obsessed with eyeshadow liner. I feel like it just goes on very, very easily. There's not a lot of mess um, involved and if you do mess up, you can just kind of buff it out with the eyeshadow brush. So that's what I do at the moment. I'm taking this dark brown color in the end there and I've been really obsessed with this. It's kind of got like a red undertone to it as well, which for blue eyes looks really, really nice and for autumn as well. It's just a nice little touch and very easy to do if you're really concerned on eyeliner and you're just really struggling with like the ink ones like this, then the eyeshadow liner is just a way to go just to get your foot in the door basically. I find this is just super useful and it just seems to work every single time. I say that, but knowing me, this video, it'll probably go the opposite way to what I hope for. So I basically use this smaller mirror here because obviously it's just easier to concentrate with. I'm basically just taking this winged eyeshadow brush. As you can see, it's like a red undertone to that brown shade and just press onto my lash line. So that is my eyeshadow eyeliner complete. I'm now taking, as you can see, the same concealer underneath my eyes just to highlight them and cover up any dark circles and things like that as you do like that and again taking my beauty blender just to blend that out onto my skin I always end up like tilting my face with the beauty blender I don't know why so yeah that is my concealer and my eyeshadow complete I'm gonna do my mascara and then move on to the foundation contour and stuff like that for my mascara, I'm going to be taking the Lash Domination by Bare Minerals, an oldie but a goldie. I don't know why, but I've been reaching for this a lot more over the past few weeks, and I just really like the way it looks and the way it extends my lashes. Um, it's probably out of date, like most of my products, but we ignore it. You know, we're going to try and keep it real for this video. I'm going to be honest about the products that I'm using. I do need to heavily invest in updating a lot of my makeup, I'm fully aware. So yeah, I just go straight in with the mascara. Again, like the Beauty Blender, I always end up moving my face with the brush. So now that I've done my mascara, I'm moving on to contour. I'm taking the Flawless Chisel Cheeks Contour Cream Kit by Barry M. And I'm just gonna be taking the shade in the corner here. As you can see, I've used this up quite a lot. Made a mess of it, but that's my life for you. I'm going to buff that out using this foundation brush by Royal Techniques and just buff that into my skin. And then what I do is after my contour, I apply my foundation. I know it's backwards. I know people do things different ways, but the foundation I'm going to be using today is the Dream Radiant Liquid Foundation. This one is in the shade Natural Ivory and I just apply a few pumps to the back of my hand, like one or two. I don't really use a lot of foundation these days just because I feel like it's just a lot of makeup on my face, especially the contour and concealer and the blushes and highlighters everything else that goes on with it so taking my beauty blender again I just apply a small amount all over my skin just to set the cream contours and concealers everything into place and give it a really nice even you know dewy kind of finish 
One thing is really important to remember, there's no right or wrong way of doing makeup. Like, there's so many different ways you can do it and you should do it and, you know, just make sure you enjoy applying it and you're happy with the way you look and the way it makes you feel when you put makeup on your skin and things like that. That's more important. You don't, there's no rule book with makeup. You can literally experiment with it have as much fun as you like, create different looks, different vibes, and see how it affects the way you feel and your attitude and your mood. I love that the most about makeup. Like I put some makeup on and I feel like a brand new person. It just gives me like a different character to play with that day. Don't know why, but I just love that side of makeup. And I feel like it's really important to spread that message across that it, makeup's supposed to be fun, you know? So yeah, that is my foundation complete. That is my eyes complete. I just need to do my eyebrows. Kind of had to do this checklist with myself have i got my eyebrows on have i done this have i done that so now that i've completed my foundation i'm now going to set my contour in place using the roxy roxaurus contour and highlighting palette and taking a contour brush this one is real techniques again and then playing with these two colors at the top corners there and just mix them together with a little bit of bronzer i create the kind of shade that i want basically for my contour So yeah, that is my contour, finally complete. I'm now taking a blush palette. This one is the Revolution Ultra Blush Palette, which looks a little bit like this. And I've been using the hot pink kind of shades lately. I never used to be a fan, but I just really like it at the moment. It might not last, but at the moment it currently stands. I just use a combination of this shade here, this shade here, and then the shiny shimmery shades as well. I just like mixing my brushes between colors and kind of creating different looks with it. So I just dab it on my skin, not using too much at a time, and just slowly blend it upwards. It creates a really nice glow. So following the blusher, I'm gonna be applying the Iconic London Highlighter. Again, very overused, but shows how much I love it really. Um, and then taking my Real Techniques highlighting brush and just applying this kind of like, I don't know what the color is, it's like this peachy kind of shade, like the top three basically, and just blending the colors together. And then to set in the concealer underneath my eyes, I'm taking the Collection Sheer Loose Powder, which looks like this, and I just blend it underneath my eyes in the inner corners. And then for my eyebrows, I'm gonna be taking this eyebrow brush spoolie kind of thing from Morphe, and I literally apply hairspray to the brush from a distance like that. And I just basically brush my eyebrows upwards, create that like feather laminated brow look. I really, really like that at the moment. I do wanna go to the salon and get it done properly, but for now, this technique really works. I know you can use this with soap as well, which is probably better for you because this smells a lot. So yeah, you can use this with soap as well, but I just use hairspray because I don't actually have a bar of soap. I don't know why. Just don't really like the feeling of soap. Maybe I should invest in one before I commit to getting my eyebrows done professionally. We will see. On the days that I don't want to use hairspray, I also use like a clear brow gel to do this. And I sometimes layer the two together just to make sure they do kind of stay in place, which I'll show you guys. And it just kind of just set in place like that. So before my camera battery dies, I can see the little red light on. I'm gonna use the Revolution Shade Vow Lip Liner and then a Avon Cream Metallic Macquid, Macquid? Matte Liquid Lipstick, which looks really, really pretty. I love this, been using it all week. So that is my makeup complete. I'm now going to take my clips out, undo my braid so you guys can see what my hair looks like following that. And then that will be it for my makeup for this video. So yeah, these clips are super handy. And as you can see, there's no like lines left from where they've been in place. So there's no kinks or anything like that, which is really handy. And then for my plaits, I'm just basically just use my fingers just to comb that out. And yeah, it's just nice little waves really. So my battery actually died on my other camera, so I've just changed my camera over, so there's probably like a difference in the quality, but um, I've just brushed my hair out following the plaits, and this is the kind of effect that I have now got. 
I basically just brush these away and then kind of like tuck them into the curls basically. So that is it, we have reached the end of this video. I hope you guys have enjoyed watching me share all of my makeup products with you guys and showing you how I apply my makeup ready for autumn. I love this current makeup routine. I think it looks really, really pretty, perfect for autumn, and I just love it, especially with my warmer hair now. I just think it looks really nice and complements it really well. If you enjoyed watching, don't forget to smash a thumbs up, subscribe, let me know what you guys think of this overall look, and if you have any products you recommend, especially for this coming year, especially for skincare, leave them in the comments section down below. I love to hear what you guys have to say. So that's all for me today. I hope you guys have enjoyed and I'll see you all in my next video. Bye.